guys it's your girl Kaylee Mae welcome back to the channel y'all and today I just want to say happy holidays you know it's the day before Thanksgiving we're all getting into the spirit the holiday spirit I don't know about y'all but you know I'm home you know with my parents celebrating Thanksgiving and Christmas and I'm very very excited this is my first like Thanksgiving home in a very very long time very long time so I'm actually happy you know to be here but I just want to start this vlog y'all today we are actually baking some holiday chocolate chip cookies and not just any holiday chocolate chip cookies these are homemade chocolate chip cookies from scratch you know no Pillsbury no Toll House these are from scratch so I'm gonna take y'all over here and I'm gonna show y'all how I make these delicious cookies so starting out I'm trying to be a little bit healthier I usually use white flour but we're gonna use almond flour today this is actually the first time I've ever used this for my cookies so I'm curious to how it's gonna turn out but these are definitely way healthier for you almond flour is so much healthier for you than white flour next we're gonna move on to sugar of course you know sugar isn't good for you but hey we're making cookies here so next is brown sugar we need our brown sugar in there and we need butter so we got you know our butter Bushima. and then we got our baking powder and vanilla and you need one egg and then of course our chocolate chips and i got these holiday ones just for you know to be festive or whatever i know it's not christmas yet but hey i mean these are holiday cookies and of course we got a big giant bowl and a spoon to stir everything aluminum foil and a measuring cup so we're going to start out i'm gonna put the camera down all right guys so now that we have all of our ingredients right here we're going to start off by measuring everything so this recipe i actually got from my dad he you know taught me how to make these cookies first things first though before we even start measuring everything i'm gonna cut the oven on to 350 but 350 degrees y'all so all right so while the oven is heating up we're gonna go ahead and start the process for baking our cookies so first things first our measuring cup then we're gonna take our almond flour I hope these turn out right, y'all. Oh my God, look at the almond flour. I hope it, I hope it tastes right. Uh, if not, I can always go back and just, the second time I make these cookies, I can always go back and just use the white flour for the cookies. But I'm just trying to be a little bit more health conscious. We're gonna see. Cause one thing I know is that like, I love chocolate chip cookies and when I go to Whole Foods, Whole Foods has these vegan chocolate chip cookies, y'all, and they taste like regular cookies, but it's all vegan ingredients. And I know if they can make some good, healthy chocolate chip cookies, I know that I can. So we're gonna do two and a half cups of flour, y'all. So we're gonna fill it up. This is two cups. sugar so we're gonna get our sugar and pour three quarters of sugar don't want any lumps in there This looks like about three, a little bit more. A 
All right, y'all. This is three quarters. quarters of a cup right so we're gonna pour that in all right so all of our dry ingredients we're adding first pretty much next we're gonna move on to our brown sugar brown sugar hardens after a little while so we gotta make sure it's nice and soft that in three it's gonna be three quarters of brown sugar also so you want to make sure you get all your clumps out because sugar definitely clumps up but you don't want any clumps in your bowl so make sure that's all out all right let's see how much we got so far we need a little bit more We got enough. Let's see. Get all the clumps out. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfect, y'all. Three quarters of brown sugar. So we're gonna pour that in. Boom. So this is what it looks like so far with all of our dry ingredients. We got our almond flour, brown sugar, and regular sugar. We're actually gonna do one tablespoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna get my spoon. So this is a tablespoon of baking powder. So all right guys, so this is a tablespoon of baking powder. Boom. Put that in there. It looks like so far all of our dry ingredients. Alright, now we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients, which is butter and vanilla. So, and our egg for one tablespoon of vanilla. All right, one tablespoon of vanilla. Pour that in. Do one cup of butter. It has to be like soft though. I mean, this is like kind of soft, but it has, I'm gonna put it in the microwave to melt it a little bit. So. this is what we have left to put in so this is actually what the bowl looks like with our almond flour sugar brown sugar baking powder vanilla and then we're gonna add all the rest of the ingredients in let's see how the microwave is looking so this is what it looks like right now um let's see hmm three quarters we're gonna add some more butter in here we need some more butter Add some more, almost a cup. So we just need a little bit more. Okay, that should do it. That should get us to one cup. So I'm gonna put it back in. Okay. All right guys, so we're gonna take our egg Pour this in. All right. And we're gonna 
and stare it up. So I want y'all to actually see it. All right, so we're gonna stare it up. This is how it should look so far. And the reason why I stare it up first is because I want all the consistency to be together first. And then we're gonna add our chocolate chips in. And also the butter is really hot, so if you add the chocolate chips in while the butter is hot, it's gonna melt and it's gonna turn into like the like the dark brown chocolate chip cookies. And we just, you know, that's not the kind of cookies we're making today. So, say it's definitely a difference because the almond flour is a different consistency than white flour but we're trying new things y'all we're gonna see how this turns out this is really hot so i'm gonna rinse this off with some cold water let, let it cool down a little bit um and now we're gonna go ahead and get into our chocolate chips. So, um, I used two cups of chocolate chips. So we're gonna open this up. Let's see. That's not a second. So this is exactly one cup of chocolate chips, y'all. Now I'm gonna add in the Christmas M&Ms, just to give it a little color. So we're gonna do a, a cup of those. I got show. All right, so I should, probably should have got two boxes of those. I didn't know it was a little bit. So we're gonna add some more chocolate chips to make it two cups. So these are our two cups of chocolate chips and M&M's. Let's see how this consistency is looking now. Let's look at our concoction, y'all. Okay. So, see how it got thicker? That's how you want it to be. You want it to be, yeah, it looks way better. And it's nice and cool now, so we can go ahead and add our chocolate chips. So, let me just test it out and make sure. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. Add our chips in there. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna stir it up. And this this will make our cookie dough. So let's go back over here. And stir this up. So you just want to be very careful mixing it. You just want to make sure it gets through all of the batter. It definitely tastes different from white flour, but it's still good though, to be honest. I won't lie to y'all. Now, if it was nasty, I would definitely tell you it was nasty, but it's not bad. It tastes like cookie dough. It's just like a different consistency. So this is our cookie dough batter, guys. Nice size ball, like this. Drop it like that. See, easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven 
So it's already preheated. It's already warmed up, 350 degrees. Open that up. I transferred it on here. So we're gonna put it in the oven. These are gonna be massive. All right, ready. And we're gonna bake it for 12 minutes. Right now it is, we're gonna set our timer. So the timer for 12 minutes start. All right. All right, I'll be back in 12 minutes. See you later. All right guys, so it's been 12 minutes. My timer just went off, so we're gonna check. Oh my gosh, they are huge. Look at this, y'all. It's two. These are mad. I knew they were going to be huge. I kept saying that. I knew that they were. But they're not done yet. So, we're going to put the timer on another eight minutes. Let's see how they bake in 20 minutes. I haven't made these in years, so I forgot the baking time. So, it's probably 20 minutes total. So, we're going to put it on for another eight minutes. All right. Be right back. Okay guys, so it's been eight minutes. So yeah, I think it's definitely done. Let's see. All right guys, I told y'all that they're gonna be super massive. Jeez, look how big they are. They are huge. They all like kind of combined. So, hmm. We're gonna have to do another batch of cookies guys because yeah instead of me using the ice cream scoop I'm just gonna use a regular spoon yeah FYI guys do not use the ice cream scoop to make cookies because they would turn out humongous so we got a regular spoon this time so we're gonna Alright guys, so this is the rest of the batter. try to do I'm gonna try to why are they still hardening I'm still gonna I'm gonna try to shape them and see if I can get it to look like separate cookies because it just looks like one huge cookie I'm eating the mess in the corner y'all because it's not gonna look like a cookie Anyway, I'm telling them like, I'm eating the one that doesn't look like a cookie. Guys, here's my overall analysis. <laughs> I haven't made these in years, okay? So don't judge me. We're gonna have to try this again, and we're gonna try it the normal way, which is with regular flour. And let's see how the consistency turns out. And, but yeah, we're just gonna do this all over again, so. I'm gonna wash this bowl and we're gonna get started. Batch number two. All right guys, so take number two. We got our regular flour this time, okay? So we're gonna do two and a half cups of this. Ready? Yeah, because when I 
I met him, I told him that I was celibate, you know? But he still wanted to talk to me. Yeah. But it didn't happen all the times we hung out and he still was acting like he liked me, you know? Guess it was all an act. different like you know he was huh yeah like quiet standoffish I'm like what in the world well when I checked in the second time at the new place he uh went to the gym while I went on the beach But I'm glad I got to go to Miami. That was nice. That was our first time going. I don't regret it though, you know? Yeah, life experiences. the ingredients and now we're stirring it up I have to admit this looks more like regular cookie dough <laughs> So these are what the cookies look like. Normal with normal flour. I have to say it's a major, major difference. So take a look. This is what we're working with. This is our chocolate chip cookie batter. Now guys, I have to say this looks like normal chocolate chip cookie batter. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, I try to be healthy, but I see that you really can't be healthy with chocolate chip cookies. I mean chocolate chip cookies there's nothing healthy about chocolate chip cookies so we just gotta make it the way it's supposed to be made y'all so with that being said i'm gonna transfer these over onto the foil and we're gonna bake them all right here we go this is so good chocolate chip cookie dough is my favorite ice cream so if you know, you know. Sprinkle cookie dough. I feel like that's too big. We're not. We're gonna make these ones really small because last time they turned out too big. So. We're gonna make these tiny. Okay. Let's see how many we can do. Probably like nine or ten on this sheet. I think it might be 10 for sheep. see. Balls look like it's 10 cookies per sheet. We're gonna put these in the oven. We set our timer to 18 minutes, let these bake. All right guys, here goes nothing. Mm. They're honestly not bad, to be honest. But 
we want our cookie to look pretty, you know? We don't want no grainy looking cookies, you know? So that's why I went ahead and made the, the normal ones because, you know, they gotta be presentable. We got 15 more minutes, guys. So I'll be back. Uh, let's see what these cookies looking like, guys. All right, they're still not done. Okay, guys. Let's see what we looking like. All right, so we're gonna take these out and let them sit because I don't want them to be like burnt on the bottom and let them sit. All right, so stay tuned. This is the second batch that's going in the oven. We're gonna let these bake for 20 minutes once again. All right guys, so I just wanted to give y'all an update on the last batch of cookies. This is what they look like. My dad took one, that's why that one is missing. <laughs> but this is what the regular, you know, they look really delicious, don't they? Yay! These are all the cookies. I got the almond flour ones and the regular chocolate chip. So guys, those are my homemade chocolate chip cookies. They turned out amazing, so yes you can use the recipe on your own and let me know how it turns out but i'm about to let these cool off get a glass of milk and have on myself so happy holidays happy thanksgiving hope you guys have a great thanksgiving tomorrow and i will see y'all in the next vlog thanks for watching have a good night